Hi, this is Jacob Anderson, and this is the second of a series of videos that shows you how to tear down your headstock completely to replace your belts and check on your bearings, replace your bearings, etc. It's not as detailed as what's found on my uh, DVD set that I sell on eBay and on my web store, uh, but I need to show you just how to get to these components. Okay, we already took off the motor pan, the belt pan, so now we're going to remove the speed control. So, you need to have this little access hole straight up in the 12 o'clock position. You need a little 3 seconds inch Allen wrench. You have to reach in here and find the tiny little Allen screw. Sometimes they're filled with sawdust or other things. It takes several turns. Wiggle it off. If they're real contrary, you might have to reach inside with a pair of pliers to keep the shaft from rotating to get this off. But check the little gears here, they get stripped very often. Alright, now here's the speed control itself. Three bolts hold it. I like to check, make sure they're not the casting is not stripped. Okay, they all feel good. Now I'm just gonna do these three bolts. Each of them should have a little lock washer behind it. Keep them from loosening while the machine is running and vibrating. This front one should have this spring on it. It's not essential, but it keeps the handle from vibrating and the machine running up speeds. Okay. I'm going to reach through the access port here and compress the control shiv clip so that I can take the speed control out. I've got separate videos that show you all the parts of the speed control and how to evaluate it. This one's been damaged right here, so I know the control shiv seized and damaged this, so this guy needs this part. So anyway, look, for, I've got two or three other videos about the speed control specifically. And this is just the indicator dial. So that's the three parts of the speed, speed control. Alright, so that's it for this quick little video to show you how to remove the speed control. So there's my website address. Go there for tons of information. If you want to send in your headstock for repairs. If you want to send in components for repairs, if you want to buy the bearings and the belts and uh, information from me, I sell those there. Lots of frequently asked questions, headstock, serial number charts, lots of info there. So take a look at my website. Thank you.